Good YouTube, Devil 92 here back again on once again. And today, people, today we are here for episode number 34 of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. I'm recording this in the afternoon, hence the the sun coming in over here and the, the, the lighting being as lighting as it is. But either way, we're here for some more Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That was like the weirdest, weakest clap. Like, anyways, weird afternoon recordings, you guys. Uh, last episode, we took on Sophocles Island Trial and our Totem Toga tomorrow in what ended up being an accidental hour of power. Uh, in today's episode, I'm not really quite sure exactly all the things that we're going to be doing. We may be getting a new team member. I know I've been kind of uh, on the fence about adding a new member to the squad. I didn't really know who I wanted to add next, but I've done a little introspective thinking and I think I have the answer. Mm hmm I think I have the answer. So, if you guys are right for today's episode, and of course, we want to show you supporters of Prime under the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, do not forget, never forget, can't nobody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can, god damn it. Let's get a quick squad recap for you guys, especially because we're going to be adding someone to the squad very soon. Uh, but up first, we have Shukaku, the MVP who carried us in the last uh, episode. I understand there could have been a better way to go about it, but I really just wanted Shukaku to shine. I just, I just wanted my boy to do the damn thing, and he did it. Shukaku, I was saying, gas level 35, holding the Eevee Light with Water Compaction Rock and Bulldoze, Astonish Rock, Tune, and Sand Attack. Up next, we have Peaks, our Pikachu, who we need to have a powwow about, you guys, okay? We need to sit and have a powwow, gosh darn it. Um, he's level 34 with the Magnet, Rock, and Static, with Discharge, Nuzzle, Volt Tackle, and Nasty Block. Up next, we have Bubble Buddy, our Araquanid, level 34, holding the Water Beam Z with Water Bubble, Rock and Leech Life, Bubble Beam Infestation, and Bug Bite. And last but not least, we have our grown ass man on the squad, Bradshaw, our Incineroar, who's holding the Charcoal, Rock and Fire Fang, Darkest Lariat, Bite, and Double Kick. So let's go back to Peaks here. And I'm going to break the fourth wall for just a second because. I want you guys to I, I want you guys to always know that I always read the comment section. Even if I don't always reply to everybody, I do see a large majority of the comments that are left uh, on videos. I check it the day goes up and the following day as well. And even on occasion, two or three days later to see if anything has changed. Um, and the big hubbub, the big ruckus that's been going about the past couple episodes, I had a comment on two episodes in a row about it, is Evolving Peaks. And it's one of those things where, like, I've said it multiple times, I've been saying it since we got Pikachu, that I, I don't want to evolve him until we get Thunderbolt. Now everyone and their mother is saying, you can evolve him, you can get Thunderbolt. It's in the the uh, the Sandy Cave. Oh, but you need Machamp Shove, and the Sharpedo, and this and that, yada yada yada. And then, oh, uh, you can evolve him, and then Heart Scale it back on. Heart Scale Thunderbolt back on. Well, you don't get Heart Scale until Mount Lanakila. Oh, okay, well then, how about you just rock out with Discharge now? Just, just... Just, just fucking evolve Pikachu! That's literally the essence of the comments that are being left. Is It's like savages. Like people are just savage. They're thirsty for a Raichu. And it's one of those things where I've, I've made it so painfully clear that I want to wait until I have Thunderbolt. I want to wait until I have Thunderbolt. And for whatever reason, it doesn't matter how many times they say it, people just have this extra excuse, this extra reason, this and that and this and that. So fuck it! God damn it! Fuck it! We're going to evolve Pikachu. And I want you to know why I'm doing this. I want you to know why I'm doing this. It's because when I wake up in the morning, and this is, this is, such, this is such a small, trivial thing. It is so small and so trivial. And I'm, I'm going to explain to you guys, you're going to understand with 100% certainty why it's so small and so trivial because I wake up in the morning and I create content for all the people that say oh my goodness nappy I've been so depressed all day they changed the evolution music and that's dope oh my goodness nappy I've been so depressed all day I've been so upset I've been going through this family struggle I've been going through that family struggle I've met people before who have shaken my hand, shook my hand, whatever the fuck it is, and they thank me so, so very much for my content because I'm able to put a smile on their fucking face. 
and I've said this a hundred thousand times, that I know I'm not going to please everyone with my content. I knew from the first video I uploaded, Search and Destroy, and, and Scrapyard Modern Warfare 2 back in 2010. I knew from that day that I was not going to be able to please everyone that I uploaded. But it's still a goal. And I strive and I, I work my ass off to put out the best fucking content, the most entertaining shit that I possibly fucking can. And it doesn't make me angry. Please don't think that I'm angry when I look at the comment section and I see people being savage and angry and this and that, yada, yada, yada. It, if anything, it upsets me because it's like I'm not doing what I'm setting out to do. So for all of you guys that are watching, when you watch an entire episode, a full 30, 35 minutes, hour of power, whatever, and the one thing, the one thing that you pull away from it is that I didn't evolve my fucking Pikachu here. My Pikachu has evolved, and I sincerely hope and I sincerely pray that that has made your day, that that has made you happy, that from here on out, this fucking Let's Play will be flames, the best Ultra Sun, the best Ultra Moon Let's Play on YouTube because I evolved my fucking Pikachu just for you, okay? Just for you. <laughs> like I said, I'm not mad about it. I was fine going through the game with the Pikachu. I honestly 100% was. I don't care if that makes it harder for me. I don't care. I wanted to wait until I got Thunderbolt. So now, I have to wait until I either get the TM, or I can hard scale it back on, and rock out with the 10 damage less discharge. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna get rid of Volt Tackle, because I don't need it on a Raichu. My special attack is higher, Nuzzle can at least paralyze, and discharge is special. So, there. The same argument can apply to those of you guys who uh, ask me, how come you don't have a team of six, Nappy? Why don't you have a team of six? And then someone, I forget the username, um, someone said, uh, they had the nerve to type in the comment section, by the way, PK, Luke, and Shady have a team of six at this point. What makes you think, as you type that comment, I give a fuck about what them niggas are doing in their LP. What makes you think, just because you said PK, Luke, and Shady have a fucking full team of six, that oh, now all of a sudden, oh, I gotta go catch some fucking Pokemon, make sure I have a full, I don't give a fuck, dog. I don't care. It's a fucking Let's Play. It's not even a Nuzlocke. This is the one time out of all the LPs we do during the year where I actually get to choose what Pokemon I want to use. Let that sink in for a moment. Every fucking LP we do on this channel is a randomized Nuzlocke. I don't get to choose shit about my squad. I get to use whatever is in the goddamn game. So for once, I get to choose what the fuck I want. So I apologize if I don't want to use a fucking Furfro. I apologize if I don't want to use a fucking Zoroark. I apologize if I don't want to use some other shitty fucking mod that I don't fucking like. How about that? <laughs> I just see if that may have come off with a little bit of angst, but it's one of those things where it's like after you see it for 25 episodes in a row, it's just, it's just like I said, my goal is to create entertaining content. So when I look at the comment section and all I see is people that are just pulling out these little inconsistencies in the episodes and just stating them time and time and time and time and time and time again, it's like, what? So if this helps make if this helps to make the LP more entertaining, then by all means, please enjoy. So I'm gonna add these mods to my team. Okay, I'm gonna add these mods to my team. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like these Pokemon. I will not be using these Pokemon, but they are on my team. This Salazzle, look, I'm gonna put this Salazzle on my team. You know what? No, that's bad typing. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Let's see here. Let's see here. Who can I add to the team? This Crab Brawler. That's a new that's a new sixth gen mod. Here we go. I'm gonna add that sixth gen, seventh gen. I'm gonna add that and this rock row. Since everyone wants me to use the rock row. I'm gonna add those to the team. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna use them. I don't want to use them. But they're in the team and we now have a full team of six. Okay? We now have a full team of six. I'm fucking with you. I'm not actually gonna do that. That see then then it gets to the point where it's like, oh Nappy, you're just being petty, you're just being spiteful. And like I said, I'm not mad about any of it, because my goal at the end of the day is to create the most entertaining content possible. So when I go and look at the comment section and see feedback, and all I see is people mad and angry and upset over the smallest of things, things that honestly just don't matter. They don't change anything in the playthrough. It's just like, what, why, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? So you want a little right you? We got a little right you. Smack dab, there it is. Now, only reason I'm not enough mods the team, simply because we should actually in today's episode be adding a fifth member to the squad if all goes well. 
We should be adding a fifth member to the squad. Um, so that means we have five mods. I must have a full team of six, so I'm not going to stress over it. I hope you guys don't stress over it either. Five is only one away from six. So can I rock out with a squad of five until I get that last sixth member that I really, really want? <laughs> Anyways, we need to head to Mally Garden to see what's popping, what's moving, what's shaking. Yo, yo, yo! Held up, yo, Mr. Kakui! You say you want to make a Pokemon League, you got rocks in your skull? Kakashi! Four turns! Huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, yeah. So I'm always ready. Oh yeah! I'll take you both out of the battle rail, and you'll be down with just a Swift and Incinerator too. You gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Woo! Isn't that a Ric Flair reference? I think I say that every time. Yo, for real? F fine, fine, you asked for it. Get him good, Professor! Oh, you numbskull should learn your plays! My nigga, battle royale, huh? Nice idea there, Kukui. You could beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? My nigga, Guzma in this bitch, like, uh. Oh, oh, oh shit, it's Guzma! The boss has graces with his presence! The hated boss who beat you down and beat you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here. He's like a grown-up meow. That's the voice. Nah, I hate water, especially wet water. Dog, I don't know why I could do such a good meow impression. Jay has his geo dude, and I just have a banging ass meow. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kukui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. Here we are, Kukui. Fellow rejects who can never become captains. We got all these moldy old traditions in Alola. The Kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut out all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong though, Kukui, we got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Kakashi, speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain, I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat Old Hala. And finally, and I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together. In the heat of the moment when it really counts. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League. Yeah! To give everyone a chance to be pushed to the limit without the team and find it the perfect move. I can't read. Let's see it, Guzma. Show your moves and prove your honest just all tuck. If you really can, that is. Right, Nappy, don't you agree? That's right! So you're one of the kids on his island challenge. You don't look like you're from here around here. Kakashi, this here's Nevi. He just recently moved to Alola. I can't read today. Discovery, new experiences, adventure. He's loving every minute of it. Nevi and his sandy ass can unleash some real powerful moves. So if you think you're the strongest trainer on these islands, Guzma, why don't you battle him? <sighs> this move fanatic is getting me all riled up. Checking out my pants, huh? They fire, aren't they? You got a Z power ring, huh, kid? Why even bother with the island challenge? What's the point of it? It'll make me strong. No, I won't, you dumb kid. Watch closely, Kakui. Someday I'm gonna destroy you. But first, I'll destroy everything you care about. Wanna see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Guzma. Okay, so this is our first time seeing Guzma in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. But before I even see his team, I don't know if he said that in the, in the last game. Destruction in human form. My nigga, your team was not destruction in human form, okay? He's only got two months. So he's gonna have a glitch spot and an area dose. I don't seem like destruction in human form, dog. It just I, I'm sorry, bro. It just don't. It just don't. I can't I can't give you destruction in the human form. <laughs> That's just going over the top, dog. That'd be like if I was like, yo, you're looking at the light skin. <laughs> I can't even. I, it's super effective, but I can eat it! My defense fell, but then water compaction ups my defense again, dog. Yeah, bitch! How you like this rock tomb, ho? <laughs> I don't think this fight is the one for you, Shukaku. I just don't, big dog. Yo, you know what? The newly evolved peaks. I feel bad. Like, I feel like... I feel like I did what Ash didn't. I feel like I forced my Pikachu evolve. 
to evolve when he wasn't ready. I gave in to Lieutenant Surge. My nigga just got smacked the absolute fuck up, dog. I feel like I, I gave in to um, Lieutenant Surge's request. And I just forcefully evolved my Pikachu. When Pikachu didn't want to evolve. Pikachu didn't want to do that. He wasn't ready. You know what? I don't give a fuck. Hydro Vortex is so... Get him low enough to have that, that... What is it? Emergency exit pop up, dog. Will it will it be enough? And I want you guys to know, I actually strongly debated whether or not to get a Galissapod. It was Galissapod or Raquinid for this playthrough. And I was thinking... It would fucking suck. It would absolutely fucking suck to play through this game with a goddamn Wimpod until it evolved. Why did I think that was going to get him low enough? And so I decided not to. Not to get a Glissapod. One of these days, I'll get the chance to use a Glissapod. See what I'm saying? Like, that, that just goes, that doubles back on my point earlier. Like, everything I do in this channel is a Nuzlocke. So I don't ever get the chance to use the mods that I want to use. So this time around, I got to pick and choose which mods I wanted to use. So maybe next time I get to use a Glissapod or a Ruxish or a Turknator. Oh, I'm spoiling what I'm not going to be using. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm spoiling what I'm not going to be using. Oh, wait, he has a Masquerade now? Oh, this is a big problem. This is a big problem. Masquerade was the only mod that ever gave us trouble. Wait a second. Wait a second. Peaks, I need you up and at attention. This nigga's gonna air slash the fuck out of Bubble Buddy. Though. Absolute life out of Bubble Buddy. Jesus. I think Bubble Buddy can take two air slashes, though. So I think I might be good to Hyper Potion Bubble Buddy and then Hyper Potion Peaks. And Bubble Buddy will still get the EXP. Let's see, we're at 102, Air Slash. You know, Air Slash could miss. You know, it could miss. 102. Oh, it's a fucking yikes, my nigga. But you know what? We resist Air Slash. I don't even know if I'm going to outspeed this thing. I should have sacked off Bubble Buddy. I feel bad. But if he's going to Air Slash, we should resist it, right? So does a fuck ton of damage, dog. Let's see if we outspeed. Do we outspeed? Not at all. All right. I mean, I, I'm not saying that I don't know what Masquerade speed is. I'm not saying that I don't know what Lil' Raichu speed is. But what I am saying is, nah, I do. So, that's a thing. And you know what? Every fucking time I play this goddamn game, because fucking Guzma is the only one that it's, he's like the only pertinent trainer that has a fucking mask ring that I can remember. And I want to know, this thing is bug flying. I always think it's a water type, because this bitch gets hydro pump. Dog, I'm fire fanging the fuck. I could have known that if I just clicked on this shit right here. That's neutral. You can eat Bradshaw's fat dick. Go ahead. Do what you must, dog. Yeah! Light it up! Everybody, light it up! Lit, dog. I mean, cat. Alright, so Peaks didn't have what wasn't the best showing ever. If I'm being honest. Wasn't the best, the world's best showing. Um, what the fuck can I do? Peaks is dead, dog. Bubble Buddy is just here to just tank hits, I guess. I need to heal. I need to heal, dog. I need to heal, dog. Yo, bro, the Lissapod. You wanna not like first impression or whatever the fuck it is you do, dog? Whatever the fuck it is you do, dog? You wanna not do that? Hey, you did it. Jesus Christ. Yo, let's not do that again, dog. Just throwing that idea out there. You can mull it around, do what you must with it. Let's not do that, dog. Let's not do that. You sucker punch? You thought that was gonna work on me? You thought that was gonna work on me, my nigga? Thought that was gonna work on me, my nigga. Why, dog? Why? Why are you clicking sucker punch over and over and over again? You were fine with Razor Show a couple turns ago. Now it's just not good enough for you, dog. You know what? Does this actually do damage? It does. You see, I didn't know infestation was an actual attack. I think it's a crit. Fuck off, dog. This nigga is just clicking sucker punch over and over and over again. You know what, Doug? I'm not playing your 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 shitty games. You better click Razor Shell. Be a man and click Razor Shell. Don't be no little pussy bitch and click Sucker Punch, Doug. Don't do it, little bitch. That's why you dead, ho. 
That's why you did. That's why you did. Hey, that's why you did. That's why you did. Hey. My boy Shukaku is level 35. Lit. Lit. I see. Great work, I guess. See? That's a real nigga right there. Gave props when it was needed. Appreciate that, big dog. Yeah. 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 Bro, I got wrote him in the bottom says, Careful, kid. Looks like your team could use a trip to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I just gotta have a battle, wrote him. Thanks, bro. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Guzma, stupid Guzma. Now it's time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything. It was nappy, right? I remember you as someone I'll be happy to beat down anytime. Okay, so I like the change that they dropped that whack ass Ariados. I don't know who a game freak thought. Oh, evil boss. The Ariados really threatening. Really threatening. Put the Ariados on this team. Like, hey, 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 hey. You make sure to put Ari Ariados on this team, right? Just checking. Just want to make sure the Ariados is on that team. So, yeah, how, huh? Oh, and you're Guzma? Oh, so. You know, you don't have to do this island challenge thing just because your granddad's a kahuna. Even if you finish, you might not get what you want. Did they have that interaction in the first game? I don't remember that. Kakashi! Woo! Nappy! Those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Oh yeah! I almost forgot to give you something super important. Here you go, cousin. This is the Z-Crystal for Incineroar. The evolution of the Litten you choose. Chose. Can't read today. Can't read. Hot damn. And, uh, about that mask you got there, Neppy. Malene gave you that, yeah? If you take it, I'd take it if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the Mask Royale safe and sound. You saw that too, yeah, how? Huh, yeah, I did. That was an awesome battle, Neppy. Kakashi, maybe someday Guzma will figure out what it is if you, did you kids learn on the island challenge. So what happened to Lily? You guys losers somewhere? I'm right here. And uh, so is Isarola. You and the professor fought those horrible Team Skull Dogs, Nappy? Just thinking about it makes me worry. They sound like a scary group. You think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in battle is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm going to head up to Mount Latakila. I've got to make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everyone has a chance to find their own perfect move. Keep training hard on your island challenge. One day the two of you will make it there, too. Lit. Nappy, how? Be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Uh, Nappy, you made it to a South Africa as a trial, huh? That's a really great. You can take on the next trial up past Route 11. To Tapu Village, you know. If you get lost on your way, ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? Now, Ribby, you're coming with me to do some shopping. Aya. Bye, hoes. Bye, hoes. That's what Hal just said. All right, we can bounce the fuck up out this bitch, dog. Bounce, 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 bounce in the motherfucking house. Okay, so I think I'm gonna heal up real quick. Um, and I've been trying to do everything that I possibly can in this playthrough, and someone in the comment section brought up something that I haven't been fucking doing, and I forgot to do it in the first playthrough, and now I'm forgetting to do it again. We need to go and battle these fucking trial captains, dog. That's what we need to do. Once you beat the Kahuna, you can go and battle the trial captain. So I think what we're going to do is instead of like interrupting everything because we're on a roll right now is I think after this island, after Ula Ula, we're going to go and battle the trial captains, which some people might be upset about because that's right when the story picks up. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I think before we wrap up today's episode, we should slide down here onto this here route. Hey, yo, baby girl. Hey, yo, baby girl. We should slide right down here. What are, what are you doing, dog? And if I'm not mistaken, I think the next mod that I want to add to the squad can be found on this route right here. Now, question is, will we be able to find it? I don't know if there's any special stipulations needed to find it. Pancham is not it. Pancham is not it. It's very similar to a Pancham, but it is not a Pancham. I'll tell you right now, it is not a Pancham. Mole Breaker? Not interested in that, dog. Not interested in no Mole Breaker, dog. I'm interested in another cute and cuddly small Pokemon. He's so gosh darn cuddly that he actually cuddles a log. And I wonder if you guys know who our next teammate is going to be. 
I wonder. I wonder. Can you decipher? I don't know if it being nighttime in my game makes a difference. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I don't think there's any issues with the time of day. I don't think. I hope not. I'm not trying to get into any battles. Just whoa, 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 whoa. So many trainers. Now's the time to earn your some prize money. I'll be at your service. Thanks, dog. But I'm not ready for that just yet. I'm not ready for that just yet, dog. No, I don't think there's any requirements for it. It's just available on Route 11. And we're on Route 11, right? I'm not getting my routes mixed up, am I? Am I? I'm on Route 11, right? Let me, let me, let me back out real quick and peep. Back out real quick and peep. I'm pretty sure this is Route 11. Survey says, I'm wasting my prize money because Rodan gave it to me. Yes, this is Route 11. I'm wasting my freaking prize money, dog. I could be battling niggas, smacking hoes up, making fat stacks. Look, here comes the area dose. Game Freak made sure to put in the game. It's not on Guzma's team. I'm gonna try and put it on mine. I'm not interested, Game Freak. I'm being 100% honest with you. I'm just not interested, Game Freak. I'm really not. Ever since Gen 2, I, I can't think of a single time when I played through a game and actually used a Ariados. I can't. I just can't. Look, Ariados is back again once again. I'm not interested, Doug. Keep your shit. Keep your shits. Doug? Bro, Doug? Actually. Gyro Ball. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to catch this mod off screen, but if he doesn't want to appear. I. It's not an Ariados, dog. I want to fucking catch a goddamn Ariados. Stop showing me Ariadoses. Not interested in no Ariadoses. I just want to catch. I almost spoiled it. As if it isn't obvious or apparent already. I did almost spoil it. Hello? Hello? Knock knock. You know, this game keeps fucking with me, dog. This game keeps fucking with me, and I don't really appreciate it. I really don't appreciate it. I appreciate it if you would stop fucking with me, dog. Look at my prize money is just disappearing. My prize money roto power is disappearing. One of those things where it's like only a certain patch of grass and this is like the Pichu all over again where it's only a certain patch of grass and I'm just never gonna fucking find it because I'm not in that patch of grass there it is ah I don't know if it was a certain patch of grass or it was just a rare encounter or not but finally Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to the newest member of the squad. Dog, we have a whole squad of ladies. Except for Peaks. We have Peaks and Bradshaw. Well, it's half and half. I was going to say, I wanted to... I have a perfect name for this Komala, but it's a male name. Now I gotta come up with a lady name. I gotta come up with a lady name for this Komala now. What can I do to you that won't kill you? You can live a bulldoze, right? I think you can live a bulldoze. I'm not trying to sleep with you, dog. All I want you to do is join this squad here. This lit ass team we got. This lit ass team we got. Another bulldozer should do the job. You know, it's okay, Shukaku. After last episode, you could take a quick little, little, little rest. A little Z's. That's fine. This should be more than enough. This should be more than enough. Let me see here. Luxury ball with your fucking name on it, dog. 
a luxury ball with your fucking name on it. Now, I would try and re-encounter and get a male one for the perfect nickname, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. This is not this is not a good first impression. It's not a good first impression. You know, I really like it if you could just, you know, hop on board. Hop on board. Be cool. Down with the shits. Down with the squad. Lit! So, ladies and gentlemen, the fifth member of our squad. Komala. Now, what name we're going to be giving this Komala? I'm not sure of just yet. Uh, I debated adding a Turtonator. We're going to have a fire type. And we used Komodo last time. Um, I debated adding Togemaru, but we already have an electric type. I debated using Bruxish, but we already have a water and a psychic type. So there are a lot of things that I debated using. Uh, and Komala fits the bill, for now at least. It stays asleep from the moment it's born. When it falls asleep in a deep sleep, it stops moving altogether. Hmm. What do I call this Komala? What do I call this Lady Komala? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name it. Hmm. I'm gonna name it Anita. I don't know why, it just fits. So Anita has been added to the squad. Everybody! Say hell fucking low to Anita. Let's see, is Anita a decent nature at least? Is she? Is she? Is she? She is! She's adamant nature! That's actually like the best nature you could get for a fucking Komala. Either adamant or calm, that's his two highest stats. Dog. It's fucking lit, dog. We got an adamant Komala. Now I've been a little iffy about Kamala. You know, we were recently stabbed in the back by one, but it's okay. We're here now. Lit! Lady Titty. Anyways, I think we're gonna wrap today's episode here. I'm gonna run back and heal. Our prize money's all but gone. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, if you're to show you support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, do not forget, never forget, can nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can't, god damn it. I will catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, your boy is Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!